the last name I chose. It was like, Ghost. I was, um, I used Xanathar yes. to make all of the name choices. <laughs> and the ones that I thought just kind of fit them were, like, the Greek oh, yeah. names. I've got cool. So I then looked up what, like, I was, like, looking up random, like, stealthy, like, assassin type words and what yeah. they translated to in good. Greek. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite part. And Raven <laughs> will, uh, end up translating right. to Karaki. So their last name is literally just Raven. Oh, oh Raven cool. in Greek. That's cool. Yeah. Welcome back. By the way, guys, a little behind the scenes stuff for that that sort of started up. Um, we are at a uh, sort of traditional time period here. Now, because your group is not going to be up there for the first part of the, there's like a meeting before the dinner. Um, there's a couple of buildings uh, outside, obviously, like around the building, um, and they kind of escort you to uh, like a sitting area in one of the adjacent buildings, it's kind of like across the street. Literally a waiting room for some of It's kind of a waiting room, yeah. <laughs> but it's very easy to do the so you, so you have some time before um, you can go up there and they'll, they'll invite you when, it's, when, it's, when it comes to time. <clears throat> now, Cain, of course, you all arrive to the building around the same time. Or there is, by the way, a magical uh, elevator. Very, very convenient. This is new. <laughs> uh, yes, you've never been in one. You've never seen it before. Um, Leto talks very excitedly about it because it's new, like gnomish technology that was uh, released not too long ago, maybe a couple of years ago. It's how to do it. Super cool. Uh, takes a lot of our tech. That's what I'm trying to do. It, 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 it takes not a huge amount, but it does take yeah. some. Yeah. Because it's an elevator? It, it takes an elevator. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just, it's like a, uh, kind of like Tentra's floating disc. Big giant uh, model. But it, it's permanent. It goes up. It's permanent. It's, it's big. So right. you actually like fit multiple, more weight, multiple people on it. Um, <clears throat> get up to the 30th floor, and it's a big conference room. Um, you recognize a handful of people. Some of them are people that you remember growing up with, just like around the city. Um, and they're like, they've sort of moved up in the company, and they run certain parts of the business. Uh, there's like the guy that runs the docks. There's the guy that runs the cannery, uh, which is also relatively new technology. Um, <laughs> they can, it, they can the things in the and like fish and certain produce and that sort of thing. Uh, still very new. They're working out some of the kinks in it, you know. Um, but it's it seems to be going relatively well. Uh, <clears throat> they were they were like jarring things in our in our time, you know, a good while ago. So it's not it's not an impossible stretch uh, that that they have the they have the technology. <clears throat> And you sit in what is possibly the most boring meeting you've ever been in. It's actual uh, business. It's actual like company, like family business. I, I'm genuinely mad that they made me sit through this because they knew even as a kid, <laughs> I <laughs> would never be a part of this. Like I was like so over it. Yeah, because you knew that you were going to do. Yeah, I knew like. 
cane things. Yeah, because I was like born to it. That's always what he's doing is cane things. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hector. It Hector. is. Hector things. Um, and you can tell that Uncle Mateo is in the same boat. He's like, he's like nodding off. <laughs> and he's just like. Probably thieves can't it over to me. Oh yeah, yeah. Thieves can't. Hey. Just. Yeah. You like thieves can't and like make fun of some of the people talking and. You do make it a little more fun with him around just because you can make like secret jokes and stuff. Um, and he calls you into. Uh, like you both get up. And. Um, Leto inquires as to where you're going, and Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Mateo says uh, that you're going, he wants to show you and get your expert opinion on the new vault system that they have in place in the building. Okay. And you, um, he kind of takes you to a side room. Again, fairly opulent, um, and he grabs from on his person somewhere a uh, fairly large piece of parchment. He lays it out on this on this table, <clears throat> and, he, and, he, and he goes to kind of show you the vault. And the vault has uh, it's very very nice. Has seven layers of security. Good oh, lord. Um, the last one being some good stuff in that vault. <laughs> the last one being uh, like anti-magic type oh. stuff, so you can't just yeah. like match your way into it. Um, there's, it's it's. You would be very hard pressed with a team of high-level rogues to break into. It without some pretty crazy stuff to do it. Uh, this is about 15 minutes in. It's the ice machine. Oh. That's our <laughs> that is, that is water like, That's exactly what it sounds like. What the fuck like. is going on? Uh, uh, you're just like, yeah, because it does. Yeah. It sounds like an our, ice machine. How many have you worked in? Um, <laughs> Two minutes. Yeah. And you, uh, you're kind of pouring over the documents, and he says, I have one other document I need to go get, so I'm just going to wait here for a second. And he steps out, kind of sort of back into the uh, conference room. <clears throat> and you hear this, like he shuts the door behind him. Mm -hmm. And you hear this very loud, Sort of like bang, almost like an explosion. Okay. <clears throat> and um, you hear some cries of surprise. Mm. And she's so machine. So this is so good. <laughs> When you crack the door open and poke your head in, or like, like peek out, you see that a series of, of people rush into the room, and rush into the conference room, and they have varying degrees of what looks like very high-tech weaponry. You see the leader looking sort of like the first guy that's in there. Uh, walks in, he has um, what looks like a plasma rifle from Fallout. You see a couple of guys walk in with what you, what Corey would recognize as rocket launchers. Um, uh, you see a number of them have 
Uh, again, like Corey, Kane doesn't really recognize them as anything. Really. Um, really weird. Yeah. It's like clubs. Right. Like, <laughs> they clearly are dangerous looking weapons. Like, uh, no idea really how they work. You see like rifles, you see. Uh, it's crazy. I don't know. I think. Okay. <laughs> And <clears throat> the leader uh, of, of this land of individuals. And by the way, your family is looking scared. I'm going to tell you because he's, he's pretty chill. A baller. <laughs> yes. He is. Uh, Mr. Ice in his veins. This sort of yeah. fat guy speaks up and he says, uh, did you get some of the dice to them? We have, we have come no, we have dice. to raid your vault. Okay. I am Grand Huba. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dice Hard. <laughs> oh. Did you say? Oh my yeah. god, no. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The I best know. Christmas movie ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, God, that's the only reason I'm asking. Because I'm watching my mind. And it's Hector Kane. Hector. Uh, and he goes on on this diatribe of how he hates corporations and blah blah blah, as he is wont to do. Monologues for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Nice. He specifically talks about knowing that there are 640 blue draca in the vault. Oh, and that's what right. Blue. Yes, one blue draca is worth a hundred thousand white draca. Yeah, see now that that's at the top of my my list over right here. <laughs> draca. Yes. Um, I don't think I even knew that we were that wealthy. Oh, yeah. Get real, Kane. You have. <laughs> Come on. I was like, no. Come on, you know your door. privilege. <laughs> Check uh, it. <laughs> Cassandra and Leto are obviously. I've been slumming it. Um, they don't seem like they're clearly afraid, but they, they handle it well. Althea is just like wide eyed and like kind of like freaking out. It's like some, some big strong man, come save me, please. Uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, you know, he, he sort of corrals everyone and <coughs> gets them in a, a sort of corner of the room. Um, he calls over his right hand man, Coral. You okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard a really good joke. <laughs> Christmas is that. canceled. Uh, 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 just the Carl joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Rick looks down the Carl and said, Coral, we were a book. Would Norma, Norma read us, Carl? Carl? <laughs> Norman read us? Yeah. <laughs> Carl. Carl. Uh, that's very Coral. funny. Coral. Uh, Coral, that's by it. the way, is a, is a very large, uh, one-eyed, brutish man. <laughs> Uh, with a uh, essentially like a combat shotgun, like with the drum. It's my cowboy hat. No cowboy hat. Oh, it's just important. They get this stuff. <laughs> I will tell you this: they are all gun fu masters. Ooh. Mm. Gun fu. Gun. Am I? At yeah, a class John Wick. Just like John Wick. Think, think John Wick. I made a I class. I Never mind. Oh, we're done with D and D. We're watching John Wick. Fuck with his dog, <laughs> <laughs> with his dog or his car. Yeah. You know, I've also never watched John Wick. I know the story. What? It's I'm great. Uh, I'm less joking now. I know what it is. I really don't want to watch it if it's about a guy losing his dog. Okay. I it, understand. That's only the very first. Really okay. Respond. See, here's that's going to cause but, me to. Sneak. See, here's the thing. Oh, is, then you'll love it because that's what he does. So, yeah. Trying to remain stable. Like it happens. It happens at the beginning. It's like they rip that bandaid off kind of quick. 
and then you are righteously angry along with him, and then you get to ride his train of murder. Is there a puppy at the end? Hmm? Is there a puppy at the end? He does yeah. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, that'd just be all torn up from the first bandit. Oh, dude. When okay, no, did you you'll appreciate Spider-Man? it because I will, I cried from the opening scene to the closing scene of that movie <laughs> in theaters. I would, with my cousins. I would uh, be impressed if you cried during that movie after yeah. that. The whole trilogy. Really? First Spider-Man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Shut sure. up. It's not yeah. called the Holy Trilogy. She knows. So many she people knows died. The bad guy died. <laughs> that was trilogy. devastating to me. He has a son. Yep. Yep. That, you know, he's something yeah. of a scientist himself. <laughs> oh, I cried a lot. <laughs> I love the whole so. trilogy. Anyway, it's so good. Yeah, exactly. One minute. You trash, bro. three. The only part I liked yeah. in Spider-Man is the third one, the one down the street. <laughs> um, and then someone took away the music during that part. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. That's the only thing I ever liked about that movie is that gif. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? I no, I you remember. were trying to take on my head. Uh, horrible <laughs> Venom and a really good Sandman. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sandman was perfect. Sandman was very good. All you need to know. Topher Grace should never have been Eddie Brock uh, ever in any... You're right? trash, Brock. Is she in the second or in the third one? I was. I don't know. I did still really enjoy the new Venom, though. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. It's 12, though. I don't think I've seen the third New Venom was pretty... New Venom was great. Oh, we are getting that. sidetracked, guys. Yeah. Yes, we are. Right. Yeah. It's easy to do with the whole trilogy. <laughs> I mean, sometimes that happens. Wow. I guess I'll start so, to die hard. I mean, D&D. Dice hard. Dice, dice, hard. dice, dice hard. hard. Dice hard, my bad. <laughs> and Bruce Campbell's in all three movies. <gasps> it's important. Now. Have you been watching 992? <laughs> they are scouring this <clears throat> for anyone else that might be tucked away. Uh, what would you like to do? Kill them. There are 13 of them. You should fight 13. Them. Fight them. The room I'm in, are there any air vents? <laughs> no air vents here. Box. You can see very nearby, uh, sort of down down the hallway, from you, is a uh, is the sort of exit staircase that goes all the way up and down the building. Okay, but to go out into the hallway. Air, there are air vents, but not in this room. You have to get to them somewhere else. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to remember the plot. I'm trying to remember what happens. I know. I know. Um, We're going to be winging it. Winging it. Winging it. Winging it. Right, well, um, I'm going to go for... <laughs> Read the synopsis. <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, self-cast Pass Without Trace. That sounds... Like God, will you, that's a thing you have? Okay. Yeah, I can, I can cast Pass Without Trace. Plus 10 to stealth checks. Sure. For, ev- for everybody in it, like, and, and I can give that to, like, everyone in the, like, yeah, around it's me. It's pretty dope. You like it? Do I have that? Okay. You don't have, you don't have spells. What? So you just don't have any spells. You don't have any yeah, spells. Once you go Arcane Tricks. You're, you're not a anyway, wizard. Um, Meryl? I it's am going to... I'm then I'm going to try to sneak over and go up the stairs. Okay, give me stealth check. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to realize I didn't even get my dice out tonight. Stealth checks. Right, right. Alright, I'm going to dump out my dice, whatever. It's going to be my red and yellow die. No And it's a 19. No way. 19 plus stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, very, very much like uh, the film we all know and love. Uh, when when the sort of, when <laughs> when when the guards kind of Lord. walk into that room, you're not there. That's nuts. Forty. Oh my god. Plus twenty one. I have a, I have an eleven on my stealth. Oh that's right. Oh that's right. That, <laughs> that is get a crazy, dude. That is <laughs> insane. <laughs> There's you are the air. Says, you can get a 40, can he? <laughs> I mean, you can get a 41. So with Pass Without Trace, your maximum is 41. That's not yeah. to be that yeah. They do not in any way see you. <laughs> Use the staircase. Was there a guy in here earlier? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Here. He because, never because existed. You know this. <laughs> you never even The top five levels are under construction. 
For what? What are y'all doing? Remodeling? Because I told you that earlier. Do I get to keep my shoes? <laughs> yes, you can keep your shoes. <laughs> what? You're not as dumb as he is. Oh, it's die hard. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm really, unless I, unless I, you I, want I've no never shoes. watched it. Nah. Then, then nah, I have I have boots of elven kind. They help me. Oh, I, yeah. I could have I could have rolled twice. <laughs> it's okay. Is it for any of the other ones at twenty? Forty. Oh, I, I could have I could have said it was my blue green one, and that would have been. Would have had twenty. Actually, look. Don't mess with too much. Doesn't matter. That one's forty. No, is still that's depressing. Ridiculous. That's a nineteen. That one's a fourteen. Where's my last one? You're stealing all our luck. Over An eighteen. There. Holy crap! My so fourteen. I would have had a thirty. This advantage times four, and had to roll five dice and take the lowest one. I still would have had a natural fourteen. Mm-hmm. Thirty-four, five, thirty-five minimum roll. And that is. <laughs> it is very possible that all of you down in the sort of seating area <coughs> noticed would have seen a group of individuals. Entering the building, but they just had like wooden crates and stuff like that, so it wouldn't have been really that uh, weird. That weird to see it. I'm cooking with the orc, right? Mm-hmm. I'm cooking with the orc, right? You are. You are in. What's his name? Bjork. Is it Bjork? Wait, did you give him a name? I didn't give him <laughs> a name. It is now. Bjork. Bjork. <laughs> it that is what you Bjork. Said? The orc. Oh, oh, Bjork. 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 Bjork the Orc. <laughs> Bjork the Orc show. Yeah. Nice. That is amazing. Yep. I love it. I thought you said Bjork. I'm giving you a bonus XP point for that. Uh, that's about that's as amazing. Oh that's about gosh. as good as flight power. I thought you said I'm Bjork. <laughs> you got her. Seriously. You got her great. Yeah. Uh, wow. So, yes. You are on the same level, kind of off in the kitchen area, when a series of individuals with, uh, I'm trying to think if you've ever seen a gun before, give me a, a give me an intelligence check. Or a history check? Yeah, or history. I would take history. Okay, we'll do history. Cool. Uh, it'll be a 10. Federal of a 2. <laughs> yeah, that's going to So you have advantage. I would say that even with a 10, you you may not, you've heard of guns. This would be the first time you've ever seen one, like in a physical format. Um, but you know that they can do very, um, very, very damage. damage. Um, and they sort of rush in and they start calling out. The chef regalia, all, all the chef individuals, yeah, the whole crew, uh, the whole crew into that one room, mm. into the main room. Should I try to escape? <laughs> <laughs> should, should, should I get out of there? Uh, Don't die. You can. First and foremost, um, you would need to give me a stealth check if you're trying to escape. Throw a grenade. <laughs> all right, I'll try. It's, it's not gonna. It's not looking good for me, but a grenade. You can also go with the, them. You just stay calm and quiet. Sort of scout it out. It's up to you. Okay, I'll go. I'll just go with them. Okay. I'll be like, all right, yeah. All right. God gives you an option. You take God. <laughs> so you. No God. I will not do that. <laughs> nah. You go into the uh, sort of area. <coughs> Uh, I would like to. Orion just looks pissed. Make a like a call like a bird, but I want to say run away in avian. <laughs> Give us an example. Clank, flank, <laughs> fools. <laughs> <laughs> Which is <laughs> run away. <laughs> uh, you're too far up. No one can hear you other than the people in there. Damn. Um, and you get Damn hit. Out. <laughs> you get like hit with the butt of a of a gun mm. for being noisy. Take <laughs> you don't take a lot of damage from that. I Do I mean I hear this right? I, no, I said you can't hear it. Three damage. Take three damage. I'm a robot. I got some so- supersonic hearing. Let me roll for it. <laughs> well, can you get a can you do a perception? Oh, I can do a luck roll to see yeah, if I can hear it. Can you do a perception roll? Hear that crap. <laughs> I have uh, a massive wisdom. 
Okay, so Kane obviously hears it because he has a 26 perception. But he's in the <laughs> room. Yeah, he's already <laughs> there. So he's, Before he's it has him. Oh, he's yes. it with us? No. Oh. He I'm is moment. He is in the stairwell. I'm John McClane. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, he sees the future. Kane. John McCain. John McCain. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The war That's veteran. Right. Patrick <laughs> Kane in Dice Hard. Uh, um, question. Are Corvus and Finn both in that waiting room? Oh, yes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, they have a conversation Finn, together. Well, Finn hasn't seen Corvus yet because Corvus probably doesn't want to be seen. None of you guys seen. have except for Kane. So you guys should talk. Just because chit, chit. Gerald won't do it for us. <laughs> should I have a conversation with myself? Like when we get to this waiting room? Uh, let's go to the waiting room. And everyone give a perception check. <laughs> Quick little break. <laughs> What's uh? Is it this one? Everyone. No. Uh, yeah, D20. You're not in the waiting room. Am I in the waiting room? <laughs> yes. Yes, everyone, oh, everybody yeah. else. Everyone except for Quetzal and uh, Kane. 14. I'm going to... Oh, that's 20. 20. 20. Oh, nice. So, what is your total? I'm going to roll the dice. What did you say, perception? 23. Yeah. 23, okay. Right away, right away. Yep. <clears throat> okay. What'd you get? Uh, Corvus and Finn. Corvus got a 23 and Finn got a, uh, I think a 12. Okay, that's good. Where's... 23. Very good. 18. 18. 21. 14. 21. Finn got a 14. Oh, okay. You, you got hit in the head. <laughs> um, Mal. Yeah. You here. come out and it's and it does seem to be coming from way up there um, just the sound of it makes me assume it's from up <laughs> uh, well I'm just saying like as far as your spatial awareness um, spatial awareness and it is do they know does anybody else know but you two that that's run away being run away yeah I speak it Clovis would Corvus, I, that's right. Of course. Yeah, I rolled a 24. Okay. 23. So you both are 23. You both here. Either way. I, would, I feel like I would understand that it was like, ah. Uh, like yeah. a Corvus, oh, you understand that to be. Like a distress. There's urgency in that call. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's sort of a sign of distress. Yeah. I'm a cat. I cause distress in birds. Nice. Oh, that's, that's true. Sounds, yeah. Well, interesting. Logic. Thank you. I'll, I'll I watch it every day on my Translate. Course. <laughs> Guys, uh, that, that was a. That was a runaway. What's happening? Where are we going up there? Working up, because that's where I heard the call come from. Is that an option? All right. <clears throat> look up. I think we should look outside. Do we see? Okay, if we look up, do we see anything? Um, you do not see anything from your position. Okay. Uh, because there's nobody like up against the windows or anything. Okay. So, yeah. okay. <clears throat> so um, what? But you can make your way. I, I mean, guys, someone has to help. <coughs> Let's follow uh, that sound. You, you want to sit here? You want to walk in? I'm, I'm about to walk in here. Let's go. She says in English. And Viv's like, what? You're a bird? Person? <laughs> what? Yeah. He immediately pulls out his sword. All right. I'm following you the rest of the way, man. <laughs> he sees a little bird. He doesn't know what to do. A little bird in full plate. Full plate a sword and a bird shield and spear. Um, so. <laughs> so we're working our way across the street at this point. Yes. Working your way across the street. And. You get to the front doors, they're locked. Let me try to fix that. Okay. What do I roll? Sleight of hand. You're oh, good at well, I have a 15 already. I say you're good at <laughs> So that. now what? <laughs> yeah, roll a d20. You, you also do. Uh, you, what, are you, what are your passive perceptions? 16, as I walked up to it. Passive is 16? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's your, it's, your, it's your perception plus 10. Yeah. So 13? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, Corvus, this is Corvus, this is 16. Mm -hmm. um, looking in to the sort of front area, you can see that there is a splash of red on the wall from the, like, behind the front desk. Yeah. That is very obviously blood. Um, it's very obviously blood. There's a splash on it. I immediately, like, shh. Uh, <laughs> dude, to stop everyone from walking in. Do I see any, like, guard or personnel of authority in the streets anywhere around me immediately? It's empty. Oh, um, like in the streets? Yeah. I would say that on, like, sort of at the corners of this building. It's a pretty good-sized building. Yeah. Um, at the corner of the building, you can see... Just glance it around. Is this a 30-floored building that we're talking about? 35. And glass and stuff up mm -hmm. yep. a screen. Yep. So, yeah. There there are... Uh, there's one or two guards. <coughs> um, I point at one and cast my cantrip message there's blood all over the wall here. Somebody is attacked. Jesus. And then Jesus. six seconds later, point at another one. There's blood all over the wall here. Someone has attacked. And then if I see a third one, okay, I'll, I'll do this on like four people. I have the cantrip message, 120 feet. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming when you What's say that, that they're Fudge. something so, like that. And you hear me just kind of <laughs> make myself obvious, kind of, I, if I can see him within 120 feet, I can point out and do that. Right. They hear me clearly. If any of them respond, I'll hear that. Why are you that magical? Where are my fancy ass? <laughs> um, Why can't I? Uh, and okay. then, so, people's minds. so, and then, do they know? They know essentially who, who the first is. That correct? Oh yeah, you, you like. I feel like they're flapping well, around. You, you can tell it comes from this person. And okay. They, they see this little bird. So they like look to Flapping. you. Yeah. How, and I'm right there waving. How big are they, you? They're like, right. like three He's foot. three foot five. He's three and a half feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> little black bird with the, like a, oh a, a, a raven beak. <laughs> yeah. In plate armor with a shield and a, a little a spear. Bird, Basically bird a short bird. sword. It's so much here <laughs> than a black, black bird one. singing in the dead. <laughs> like we have a bird person and we have like a bird dwarf. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not much taller than him. I'm only four six. I'm a foot taller. Oh my god! Yeah. I feel like a freaking giant. I'm a shorter bird. <laughs> yeah, you Poor Harriet. Like she's walking around like. Yeah. <laughs> Harriet, Harriet's almost three times taller than. Um, are, are you taller than Harriet? Uh, yeah. uh, no, I'm about. I think I'm about her height. About nine. Full grown? She, if when you're, you're in your like. Yeah, nine uh, feet. Okay, so wow. they kind of they they both rush up. While I think Mal is picking the lock. I'm what? Are you picking? Yeah, uh, I never rolled anything, but I have a 15, <laughs> naturally, and now it's a 16, because you I'm never one. using this again. You rolled a 1. Okay. Hey, can't crit um, can't crit fail. Um, the good news what? here is can't that... Can't crit fail on a skill check. You can't crit fail, that's true. Not, not on a skill check. Um, all of a sudden, it's fun to navigate it that way. <laughs> you are able to... Even because it's just like the front door, it's not a very complex lock. Okay. But even with a one, because you have the buzz of feet, uh, you, you are able to. You to go to sleep. You must be tired. I probably do. Uh, so you're able to pick the lock. Yeah. Okay. You hear it click. That's so sweet. And it can swing open. And I immediately. If I, I mean, I'm standing here ready to walk inside. Yes. Yeah. The guards are. Uh, Sort of rushing over, and like to help us, not to. Yes. You <laughs> 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 told our secret. I was so scared he was like giving out too much yeah. information, but it's really good. Meta stop. Say anything out loud. Walk aside. See what happens. Well, uh, they sort of rush up as you're all going into the sort of foyer space. Yeah. Um, or the foyer. They see the. It's a French word. It just depends on where you're uh, from. So, it's, it's pronounced for you. Kentucky, for you. Uh, <laughs> it's got an R in it. They look in, they see all the blood, and they bugger off to get more guards. 
because it's, it's, it's just two of them. They're going to need more guards than that. Uh, so they go and rally. They go off to start rallying the guards. Um, I'm, I mean, if I, I don't have revivify, so if there's if the person there is possibly stable, I'm going to try and stabilize them. But if what's there? <laughs> what happens when I walk towards this? Right. Um, there is a human uh, corpse down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, was shot in the head. Right I see a small hole in the small face. Small hole. Uh, pretty yeah. nasty mess in the back. And. <clears throat> I'll say a little prayer for Alex. And I say a little prayer for What you. magic is yeah. this? Sure Eyes are closed and yeah. move on. Now, this kind of wound you've never seen before. Never seen before. Uh, or at the very least, you probably treat it like it's been very rare that you've yeah. seen any sort of wound like this. I, I uh, might have seen a wound or two. Gun food, like this, sort of like gun usage isn't wildly popular. Yeah. Uh, but it does exist in places. Yeah. Um, Corvus, who's sort of traveled around, has, has experienced this kind of wound. Not been shot, but like has seen it in other people. It's healed it in other people. Um, this is the kind of wound that don't come back. Yeah. Uh, which is quite unpleasant. And right yourselves. Uh, right. Is, is Finn and Corvus near each other? Probably. I'm just trying to picture where we all are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so Corvus like, was ah, at the door ah. leading the charge, and, and then like, oh so God, the entire so group would be shuffling in that. behind that. There'd be a marching order uh, yeah. if we were walking into a fight to be important. So do I walk in after I unlock the door, or can I just like hang out my way? You can hang out my way. I'm like, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be in a second. One of the guards, by the way, like before they. They sort of go off to get more guards. Like one of them sees the damage and because uh, it's it's not it's not easy to look at. It's not easy to look at. Rookie, um, we judge him for that. All of you guys are fine collectively seeing it because you know, you've like created <laughs> much more damage than that yourselves. We actually go. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> this is a very <laughs> no one died <laughs> realistically. It's especially fine. With, like, for Finn and Krishna and like the heavy melee guys. This is not. This is very clean. Yeah, this is weird and very uh, clean, clean shot. Uh, there's just a little bit of blood on the wall relative to what you would do with a great sword. <laughs> Beige. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, I don't know that Mal is used to all that gore. That much gore. You uh, sort of a little bit further in from there. And we'll let you kind of investigate that here in in, in, in a second, uh, but sort of further up, there are the elevator entryways, um, but there's no light coming from it, no power coming from it. They seem to have been powered down. Hmm. The magic elevators? Yeah. We're gonna we go. would, I, would, I doubt I would even recognize what it is if I walked in there <laughs> looking for a yeah. staircase to begin with. We're going to go... Uh, back back to, to a little bit here. Hector. 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 Um, for the purposes of uh, Melon having to work very early, we're going to end it soon. We want to end it on this. Um, we're, we're all on the bottom. Hector's up Quetzal. top. You die. I just put a I'm not going to assume that you took the vault plans with you. Okay. The vault plans? Was, because okay. they were like on the table, like in the room that you were in. Bjork. That would have been a good idea, yeah. I would I would assume that you were like, oh no, people are here. Clearly Try to get to the vault. I need to take this with me. That's fine. I have no issues assuming that. I, uh, in fact, pull out my portable hole, Specifically put it down it there, slide that in there, yeah. fold it back up, put it Good. away. Anthony, we're yeah. um, 
You can, uh, Kane, you can hear the dialogue fairly well. Uh, coming from in there. In Quetzal, you're right in the thick of it. You see Franz Hoover uh, Franz sort Hoover. of snapey looking yeah, fellow. Snapey? Uh, uh, I didn't know. <laughs> because. I can't remember his name. Don't say that. Who, Metatron. Who knows uh, you know, who has who knows how to what's the best way to break into the vault. Well, he has plans. But he wants to get him. Uh, I tell him I'll help him if he wants to give me a share of the loot. What? <laughs> <laughs> now, the question is, uh, does he have to roll bluff hey, or listen. diplomacy? No, I'll, I'll do it. I'm for real. Uh, he, he seems, me, listen, okay. don't uh, okay. get money. I got a question. Yeah, you you have never a question know for what question. All right, here it goes. Is this... Too many games in prison when we're there for one day. Or not. Or are you actually trying to persuade him to do this? No, I'll help him. <laughs> you will legitimately, okay? Yeah. That will have very interesting Listen, repercussions. Listen, I'm about to lose my life. He's going to shoot me, so I might as well help the dude. Give me a persuasion roll. curse. With disadvantage. Uh, then we'll, we'll just do deception, because either way, it's terrible. <laughs> I'm just going to lie to him. Is there no one there with you? Well, it's the cooking group. Oh, yeah. It's just the cooks. Yeah. There's one other arcane chef. I don't know why I got persuaded to help them. I'm just like, hey, I'll help you, dude. Like, well, you have to convince him still. You have to convince him. All right. Well, Either way. Like, how will you help me? You're going to cook him up some, like, to get boxes? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. Give him your hot pocket? I'm, it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a total of a one. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh! It was a three and a half minus two. <laughs> no. oh, so it wasn't a natural. All right. Okay. Oh my god. This is no help of any trips on his way. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you, dude. I have never seen a one actually. Yet. This is my first one, guys. <laughs> it's a dirty one. It's a dirty one. It's a one, nonetheless. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not very charismatic. Ron Hoover. I'm just a bird. Turns to you. Ruffle them feathers. <laughs> just Throw it off. Shakes, <laughs> shakes his head. Uh, and we'll take a shot at you. Okay. Oh, no. I'm about to rage and I'm going to flex and bust out. <laughs> yeah, by the way, there are like... Don't you have gang friends to call? There are 13 people oh, yeah. here. I think Bob's trying to get out of playing D&D &D with this guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Someone go in there and sit oh, ass. You fly, go. <laughs> you That's are. 25 to hit. All right, he, he hits me. I got plenty of hit points. Like 700, okay. hopefully. The beam that comes out of his, his gun is... Oh, yeah, his uh, guns. His yeah. lightning damage. What kind of guns do these laser, laser beam things? These are like more advanced than our guns currently. Yeah. In real life. <laughs> like in real life. He does magic, Brad. Magic, man. <clears throat> Okay. I just tried. To, I told him oh, to help man. him. He's gonna shoot me. Come on. What kind of hospitality is that? You rolled one, <laughs> sir. It was bad. It was real bad. <laughs> well, you rolled and ended up as a one. You have negative. Yeah, negative two. Wow. It just so happens that he. I have no charisma. <laughs> and you thought trying to deceive someone was a good call. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna help him. I want some loot. Abandoning your party. Who has the plans to get into I'm, it? No, they have me at gunpoint. I'm not abandoning my party. I'm just stuck with these people. Why don't we have to hey. try to convince them? Take 24 cold damage. Okay. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, he's fine. He just needs to not try to <laughs> say anything. He needs a jacket and a, maybe a, a beanie. <laughs> he, uh. Cold damage. Anyone else? Huh? Want to be stupid? He's Russian? I'll just keep my mouth shut. 
<laughs> he said, sounds like... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what happens is... He grabs the oldest person there. The person that he assumes would know the most. He's not wrong in that he grabs Uncle Mateo. Oh no! And pulls him <laughs> we to, all care about him. <laughs> pulls him to one of the. Uh, <laughs> He's the actually, baller. Actually, I'm probably like, <clears throat> s- like standing like inside the doorway to the stairwell, like st- like out of sight but listening. Yeah. And have like a a dagger, like and I'm like wa- <clears throat> trying to like watch the reflection, like okay. to like see what happens. And whenever I see them. Take a little Mateo, I just get a big grin on my face. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, and there's, uh, uh, <clears throat> like, it's him and, you know, four or five other guys go with him into the side, one of the, like, side office spaces. And <clears throat> um, you can hear muffled voices. Unclear is exactly what is is uh, going on there, but there is a <clears throat> you hear a series of gunshots, and then Franz Franz comes out and he says. Uh, Mm. Uncle Mateo was a bitch. I got shot on the spot. <laughs> you hear like he's old. I don't say anything. I you just think that in my head. Um, you don't know what happened. Uh, <clears throat> when uh, from here, of course. Uh, you want to do anything? Like you just hear. You hear gunshots, and, and then he, he steps back in there and makes that statement, which assumes that Uncle Mateo is not doing too well at this moment. But Mateo's I, flint, he's a bad guy. I, I, I just don't believe him. Mateo! <laughs> like, I leg- like, I'm just... I just don't believe that, it, that anything wrong has happened to, to, to my uncle. Yeah. So I think that he's well, either, he's either, he's either bluffing yeah. or Can I first that? or he's been had the wolf Is there any blood spurts? Hmm? We're not there. We don't know. I'm just I'm just mad. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. I don't know. That sounds okay. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> dead. Is there any blood up there? Hmm. I'd say uh, twenty one. <laughs> Huh? 20? 21. 21. Um, you can tell that there is a hint of uncertainty. Um, and what happens is, <clears throat> to those of you in the foyer, in the lobby, it's the lobby. In the lobby. The atrium. That. It has many lobby. names. It's the a lobby. Of, the vestibule. We can agree on the same pronunciation of lobby. <laughs> I guess Harriet would have the largest shadow. Um, Mateo, Uncle Mateo, steps mm-hmm. out from behind Harriet and falls to the ground. Oh. Uh, and is like bleeding profusely. If, if oh. I notice that, I immediately go up and. Yeah, please. He was able to shadow step out, but not before taking a pretty heavy fire. Uh, (coughs) He's seriously hurt. He killed the shit out of him. So he gets 20 (laughs) hit points. Uh, That's my light. uh, One of the warlock things. Magic light powers? Yeah, one of the warlock things. So Uh, you guys all see Corvus. Uh, scamper over, is there a flight? waddle over, no, like 
What? Stitch waddle. Up. Yeah, okay. I waddle. Like I can. Well, I'm clumsy as shit. Good... I my trip on the way, but I waddle over to can him you immediately. Fly at all? Yes. And, and there is a flash of divine fly. light, and you see many of the like gunshot wounds on him sort Disappear. of stitch back together. With your magic. Uh, Divine. You see mm-hmm. divine. I'm so glad light. you're whatever you are. You can yeah. see him. It sucked. I'm you sorry. see that he, like his his uh, his breathing, like regulates. Yeah. To some sort I mean, of I can make a medicine check to make sure everything's yeah. okay if you um, want, but but he is very clearly unconscious. Yeah. Uh, and he's he's very hurt. Uh, and that he's, was he's still hurt. Like he's still obviously his pride damaged, um, but Most you you were able to close the severe wounds. Yeah. What does so he need? Is it obvious if that he needs anything to help him? Jose, do I need to make a medicine check to make sure he's? Um, he's he's okay. alive. He's not going to die. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, you you have Stable. successfully stabilized him essentially. Oh, yeah. Um, but he is definitely unconscious. <clears throat> So how did he get here? He shadow stepped. Okay. Yeah, he can do that. He's he's basically it's, a shadow. It's just. I thought, <laughs> um, it's just like shadow. What Alchemy had was that an Alchemy? Misty move? step. It's just like Misty okay. step, but with shadows. And Alchemy had teleportation. Misty step. He did have Misty step. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, what Ooh, would have been? What would have been a scene from Die Hard? Like <laughs> they straight up shoot that dude uh, in the face. They sort of did that, but he has magic, so and he managed to get away. shrouds himself in the nice. shadow and disappears. Uh, so he manages to. Luckily, you have a healer. Yeah. At Thank this, God. At this you have technically have uh, several, really. Because Christian can heal, and Harry can heal. Yeah, well. but they're not <clears throat> clerics. And technically, Clank can heal, too. Yeah. Uh, with his Lechomancer healing table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which you that. never use. No, I don't need it. It's never existed. Well, there's a chance that it also it just does the complete funny. opposite. And like it, it's odd. It's. It it's a lot. Lot. You, if you damage enemies. Well, you damage enemies. Got. I mean, I can get the skill to defend those. Yeah. You also. Yeah, rogue is crucial. You also gave us the name Bjork. You know. Was that my point that you mentioned? Yeah. Good. We are going. To end it there, <laughs> all right, uh, because that's a good place to end it. Mm. So we're looking for a staircase on the bottom floor. Looking for a staircase on the bottom floor. Pretzel's a we hostage. Just saw uh, Pretzel yeah, is a damaged hostage. Yeah, and I just saw. <laughs> I got shot. I can't wait life. for them to tell us each other. They shot me. <laughs> set him up in a. <laughs> and we're like, you know what? I'm not that shocked. <laughs> uh, He's pretty set now. I basically always just have Stockholm syndrome. What floor are you? I'm trapped anywhere. I'm just on that person's side. That should be your stairs. thing. Okay. That should be your thing. Uh, and I guess we're back right now. <laughs> no, no, just the. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm in prison. Uh, oh, okay. Well, well, well boy, you're gonna steal it again. Like the movie. Yeah. <laughs> um. <coughs> I can. We'll, we'll sort of give you a little bit of a preview, and then we'll like officially end it. Um. At some point, the guards will show up in force, and we'll just get wrecked. Because rocket launchers. Yeah. No, it's not going to be fair. Uh, Damn. It's the horse. No, I think the fact that we'll be in the staircase will be the safest thing that happens to us. Like, but we don't know what's happening. We need to watch these movies. Be. We're watching. Oh, the help the staircase. I think I've seen one of them. You need to watch John Wick. You need to watch John Wick. John Wick is so good. It's lucky on the second one. I love my up. dog, y'all. Huh? You have let's, let's, let's load it up. All right. Also, let's watch John Wick. See you in two weeks. Next week is our break week. In 2019. 2019, we will see you again. Next, y'all. And uh, so it's yeah. the fifth. Yes. See you in a year from now. Not exactly, but next year. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> next year. Later. Well, no, but that's when I get my switch. I'm gonna tear myself away from Smash. You can-